We took the Norwegian Cruise Line to Alaska in late October. Uh, we started in Seattle, so we have the mandatory public market, Pike's Place, and there's a fish from the fish market. They were throwing around fish too, but we didn't get a picture of that. Did get the monkfish though. Um, we went to the Space Needle, but it's 42 bucks to ride to the top, so this is as close as we got. We stopped at our beer place. It was really good, so uh, if you're in Seattle and you need a place to drink beer, I'd recommend this place. Uh, here's our gigantic ship, the Bliss. It's enormous, and this is us going down the steps to it, and here's where you put your luggage. Hand it off. This was a piece of paper with all the passwords to all the devices on it. I thought that was kind of funny. Um, you could probably guess the passwords. They were very simple. Uh, and we finally made it to our room. So here's the mandatory picture of the skyline of Seattle right before we take off. And that's us on our balcony with the Space Needle in the background just to prove undeniably that we are in Seattle. I thought this was funny. Um, Norwegian Cruise Line Cruise Lines apparently can't afford an active Microsoft license for their computers. Um, the sea it wasn't rough taking off, but I still felt a little motion sickness, and I was wondering what would happen if I threw up. Luckily, there's barf bags everywhere on the first day. I uh, just thought that was interesting. I'm in the North Pacific Ocean, so this is the first morning. Um, this is from the balcony. Everybody has to get the sunrise over the mountains, especially people from Florida, because we don't have mountains. So this is all very exciting and new. The sun came up. Here's Pam um, enjoying the brisk sea breeze out on the balcony. Um, this is one of several sweeping pictures from the 16th deck of us as we head towards Juno, and this is us in Juno. Um, you can see it's not particularly cold. Uh, here we are in Skagway. It was much colder. I didn't really have pictures of Skagway or Juno because not much going on there, but another beer place. It was good. Um, now we're heading up towards Glacier Bay, which is really the only, well, not the only reason, but it's the main reason to go on this cruise. Glacier Bay is something else. Um, Pam and I up on the 16th deck. And once again, standing up there trying to capture all the beauty of Alaska. It's really something to see. Very impressive. This is um, going into Glacier Bay, so the boat comes to a stop because the bay dead ends into this giant glacier. That's why it's Glacier Bay. Um, there's my daughter marveling at the glacier. Here we are on our balcony. It's pretty cold, as you can see. And this is the glacier of Glacier Bay. It's really big, of course, and um, it makes popping, cracking noises, and every once in a while, big chunks fall into the water. Um, very spectacular. I liked it a lot. I recommend it. Um, then when I found out that we could go onto the front of the ship, I didn't know that. Normally you can't go to the front of the ship, but for this event, sitting in the bay, they allowed us to. Um, so if you go on this trip, be sure to take advantage of it. It's pretty cool. And of course you get these fantastic views. Um, if you're wondering, how do I get to the bow of the ship? Well, there's signs everywhere. You can't really get lost. Okay, here we are in Ketchikan where it always rains except this day when it was bright and sunny. You can see that we were there because I have photo evidence. Um, this is the giant warehouse between the ship and the buses to take you to Ketchikan. And it's full of stuff that was either made in China or it was made in Honduras. So I would not bother to buy anything here. You can see that this mug, made in China. Then we started our trip back. Um, I don't know what to say about that other than it was very lovely. Um, the seas got a little bit rough once we got out into more open water, but by that time we had our sea legs. 
and it didn't really affect us much at all. Um, it did get so stormy though that they actually closed all the doors and wouldn't let us out on the deck. Um, we had to stay inside. It was it was pretty rough. Uh, and then here we are back in Seattle. Time to disembark. End of the trip. And that was my trip. I hope you enjoyed this video. Talk to you later.